What's up, y'all? My name is Omar Session. I'm the CEO and founder of Blue Box 360 Booth, a 360 photo booth business. And today, we're going to talk about how to use touch picks for your 360 videos. All right, now, first, what is touch picks? Touch picks is pretty much a 360 software that you can use for your videos in order to uh, pretty much set up the overlays, the different designs, the text, the customs, all that. So, we're just going to get into how to use touch picks. And then in my next video, I'll teach you how to use Canva or Photoshop in order to add for an overlay for your video. So let's get straight into it. All right, so now that we here, you want to type up touch picks. I already did. You wait. This right here. You want to log in. And from that, next thing you want to do, you see all these different options up right here. We're going to start creating an event or create custom event. Next, we're going to name this test. Whatever your language is, mine, English. I mean, United States, you can put your country. I like to put it at three. This is when, like, you ready to get along, you ready to press start and it start counting down. I like to put it at three because it's just quicker. Um, this right here, this usually just check. Use rear camera because you don't want to use your front camera for when you're recording on your phone. Uh, don't worry about that. Right here, I like to put mine on two. I like to put it all the way up to the maximum speed. I like to put it down on two. This is how many times it's going to uh, go around. So you can put it on three or four if you want to go around more. Um, like bouncing wise, same thing with this. No, I'm sorry. This right here, they say right here, the time of recorded the video will be repeated. Yeah, so that's that. That was right. And, you know, same thing for the most part. Don't worry about this. Um, you want to go for... Now, honestly, all of these settings uh, is different depending on what you want to do, but this is what I do. Also, like, you see up here, photos, boomerangs, just videos, slow-mo. Photos, boomerangs, just and videos are their own separate things 90 percent of the time you're going to be using slow-mo so don't really worry about that um now right here where it says choose mp3 file so i already have a music downloaded on my computer but i'm going to show you how to go get some off of youtube so let's say you want to grab a song right and hit copy and then you want to go to the converter you want to type up yt mp3 you want to go over to uh, MP4, paste it, and then you want to press uh, convert. And it's going to do its thing. Sometimes it act up, sometimes it don't. So, you got to see. But once you download it, what you would do next is, let's just say you would go back here, choose audio file, and let's go to my music I got. And we're just gonna pick one. I'm too sexy for this sir. So put open that, put that in there like that. And that's uh the future song. Yeah, next thing you know that's what you want to hear when it's time to uh when it's time to um do the video. Don't worry about none of this. Uh this right here what well, is actually important depending on how you want to send it out I have all of these checks so I actually do want to check all of them right here this is what like is the little details that matter so for me personally I'll put the name of my 360 booth in there so I do blue box 360 booth and then I copy that let me see I'm gonna copy that and then I go right here and I just straight change this out and put Blue Box 360 booth right up in there. So when I time they say they don't see touch picks, they see Blue Box 360 booth. I do that for all of them. I'm trying to tell you it's the lower details to make a difference. People actually think it'd be your own app. That's kind of how you want to have it for real because the people see what you're getting it from there and they got to ask you. You know what I'm saying? So just like little things like that. This right here, you don't got to worry about. You know, self-explanatory, put your company name right there. 
Now right here, if you got a logo on your computer, and you can push it and push your logo. So I'm gonna put my logo in there. Let's go to uh, where is that? Nope, oh, it's actually it's, uh, it's right here. That's for my logo right there. Do the same thing. The slow tie. The same thing. And I, if you got time, you can do this. I know sometimes like, I don't be having time to do all this stuff, but that's why you want to do it like uh, like the nights before for real, just so you can you know you can have everything set up. Sometimes I'll be rushing and I don't be have time to do this. And then right here, when you go here, you can choose like the foreground color depending on whatever your logo is. So let's say your logo is black and pink, but you want the foreground to be black. So you just, you know, just change it to black. But I'm going to do blue because it's like a nice accent color on how it look. So then after that, this is what I do. I'll hit submit. And now, after I hit submit, what you could do is you could scan the QR code, but before you do that, you want to go into the designer, right? So when you go into the designer, you always want to go to this right here, right? You want to go to uh, templates, slow mo, overlay two. Uh, the next thing you want to do. You want to go to uh, uploads and you want to upload your sticker so your sticker in this case would be like your logo so once you upload that then you want to upload your back you know you want to upload your uh, custom overlay so that's it let's find a custom overlay i got mm. oh that's actually a wedding but it did. I got my overlay right here. I got my sticker right here. So I, I click it and I move it because you see earlier it had the uh, horizontal flip. So you want to move. If, it's, if you want your logo to be right here, I'm sorry. If you want your logo to uh, be like how I look now, like right here, like how it's like facing this way, you want to put it on this side instead of putting it on this side, so it don't be flipped. And then as far as your, uh, as far as your uh, overlay, you just want to click it, and it's going to pop right up. So the important thing about the overlays is, right here we see hover over this, uh, hover, you hover over this um, question mark. It tells you the sizes for each template that you want to use. So for me, it's a 1072 by 1072. When I went into Photoshop, or if I go to the Canva, I would do a 1072 by 1072 template and then I would create my uh my logo so I won't I know it won't be all over the place. But I'm gonna get into that in another video. So I don't wanna lose y'all. So put that like that. I do that. Then I press add template. And now I wait for it to say template added. There you go. So then the next thing I would do is I would go to my events. These are my events. I will go to QR code. And then I will scan it right here. And then it will translate onto my phone. I actually almost forgot. This is another event I had did before. And I didn't I didn't close it out after I was finished. So pretty much whenever you're doing an event, once you finish the event, you got to go back in the touch picks. And then you got to click on uh, close up. You got to go into your phone. You got to hit close event. And then you got to scan it. So it's gonna look like this. That's how you close an event right here. You see close event. Then you scan the QR code. Recognize the event. And then I have it with all the videos go straight to my phone. That's why my other video, I say you wanna have a separate phone so you can have all your videos right here. Then you press continue. And now you will activate another event. So now this one is closed. So let's get back into what I was talking about before. You see, this is what happens. I'm gonna put my logo right here. And these are the star options that'll be down here. This is gallery right here. So you can click on the video. And then you 
can airdrop, email, text message, QR code, everything right here. So, I already activated my event, but what you would do is, once you activated your event, it's going to set up all the settings. And then it should look like however you set it up in your settings. And as you see right here, your photo, boomerang, video, animated, just slow-mo. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to slow-mo, and I'm going to mimic a video. So, I'm going to hit slow-mo. And I'm going to just, like, mimic a video so it's going to record. Put it in a circular motion like that. And then as you can see, say stop process and restart in the case you messed up. And you don't want to wait this long for everything to process. You can just hit that and then start over. Like maybe you get a bad spin or something. But then it's going to apply all the settings and overlays and everything that we added previously. And it's going to look like this. And as you see down here, you got email. You got email, text message, QR code, airdrop, WhatsApp, and, this, and, a, and send a link out. That way, I'm going to text it to myself. And once you text it to yourself successfully, it's going to say sent with the green bubble. Hit next so I can save it to your gallery. And then it should be coming through in a couple seconds. And see, it just came through. So we click the link. Hit the blue link. And as you can see right here, it has all these different options. But the one you're going to want to hit is the elbow right here, facing down. Hit that. Then hit download. Then the right hand corner up here, you should see it's going to have a blue arrow coming down. Then, see, I already tried it out. I'm going to hit the top one because that's the one. Then I'm going to hit this arrow down here. And I'm gonna save it to my phone, or I can do whatever, or I can airdrop it to my computer. But I'm gonna save it to my phone. And then now, when I go to my camera roll, it's right here. And then now I can go to post it. I almost forgot too, so look, right? If you want to like send out the whole link with all the videos, what you do is you go to events. Then let's say I go right here over to, uh, I go over here to gallery. You see where it says public URL? Hit that. Then what it says, like this right here, like the mail icon, you hit mail, and then you type in the email. So let's do my email. So once it sends, just gonna call my email. So and as you see, it might have came up under uh, updates instead of just going straight there. And it's the same thing. I hit it right here. It pops it up, and that's how your client will see it on their phone. Now, with all that being said, stay tuned for the next video. Please like and subscribe. I hope I was able to help you out on how to navigate touch picks a little bit, and let's get it.